Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh And salam Aidil Fitri to our lecturer Sa'ana Zekwan and my fellow friends Today with me Hani Aaron bin Serbini I am going to explain how to make ikan merah pansu Often we hear the ayam pansu at this time I bring abnormalities use a uh, ikan panso ikan panso such as ayam panso will also be cooked in a reed with a typical herbs this dish is among the traditional food ibans mles and other communities who became a pigeon crowded how to cook this dish is somewhat similar like to cook lemang before we cook the red fish pansu, we must provide the materials for our cuisine on this day. The materials or ingredients are number one is red fish. Provides one tail red fish that have been cleaned and cut simple grit. Two cassava leaves aims to close the top of the red letter to avoid the water from expel dust or insects into the reed that when the process cook later. 3. Salts and Ajinomoto we mix in fish that have been cut. 4. Torch ginger flour or bunga kantan in mle we cut in a little to add to the fragrance and mix with Red fish panso litter can also be used to decorate the red fish panso after it was put up later. Next is reed. Okay, it's a very important uh, when you cook the ikan merah panso. Okay, next is garlic, red onions, ginger. Okay, this uh, material or ingredients is that has been ground or blended powder such material with red fish so fragrance and such materials is per pervasive on the fish How to cook? All materials will be put into a reed and he will be burned like the process of burning the lemang. It is very tasty to be eaten with hot rice during lunch. In conclusion, the traditional food community of Sarawak between one of the treasures that need, need to be retained. This traditional food is one of the important aspects in the process of alteration that is always travels life community. The changing time in the prison no need of risking the custom and culture that become the role of life for every community custom and culture ought to be maintained to keep inherited by generations so that people will come to recognize every culture in our country